in this tutorial we are going to see how we can create a form and pass dynamic values to the form so for an example here we are going to use one form where we will accept the name from the user and then pass this dynamic value that is the name of the user into a second form where a message to the user is displayed as hello user so let's get started so create a new project new process i've created it as simple bot create form to get the activity for create form first of all we need to install the related package for that click on manage packages click all packages and search for uipath dot form dot activities then select it and click install and save so this will add all the dependencies for the form activities and then we will be having the create form activity available under the activities tab let's search if it's available now create form and yes it's under forms create form so drag it into the main so here we will uh, the first form will capture the input from the user whom we want to wish the hello so this is we will rename it as input name The title which will be shown on the form is like enter name and this should be in double quotes. The form title and then we can specify the size of the form as the height to be 300 and the width as 250. And then let's click on the open form designer. Here we can uh, get a text box to capture the name from the user. So we'll drag the text field from here. So here we will write, please enter the name. So that this should be shown corresponding to the text box where the user can enter and then there is something called the field key so this is a property name whatever value the user enters that will be stored in this variable or the property name and then we can pass this variable outside of this form to be used at the later part using the arguments in and out arguments as this is we want to pass the value out from the form we'll take it and put the direction as out in the arguments but before that let's save it in save then we can close it to put the arguments we have to give the collection and collection will give provide the name over here and this will be uh, out and it's a type is string so we want to store this in a variable in the scope of the sequence so that it can be used later on so let's create another variable input name but this variable is not present so let's create one control k and then enter okay let's see what's the error okay got created two times that's why the error sign let's delete one and the error has gone after that we want to show a message in another uh, box saying hello and the name which the user has inputted so let's drag another create form 
let's rename this as display message the title we can set over your form title as greetings to the user and the form height and width we can set 300 and 300 again let's go inside the form and here let's show the message on a using a label or header so over here it's a label and the content what we want to show is the hello message along with the name which was inputted by the user so to get the message what we should do is we'll type over here in the content hello or else yeah let's type over here hello and then we'll put in double braces data dot message this is a variable name or the argument which will contain the name of the user so we have to keep in mind that this should be in small data or else it won't work let's click on save and save this one and close the form the only thing which is pending is setting up the variable so whatever name we had given here we have to create a variable or argument sorry we have to create an argument with the exactly same name and we have to map it to the input name where we have currently stored the name which the user has inputted in the first box click on ok now let's check if it's working as expected or not click on run so the first box is for the entering the name we'll input the name as it's a Lipica and submit then the greetings to the user box has appeared and here we can see the message along with the name so this is how we can pass dynamic content into the use into the forms in the subsequent videos we can see how we can pass dynamic contents not only to the labels but all other kinds of uh, fields be it text box radio buttons check boxes select boxes and others so stay tuned and continue watching continue learning thank you